For Jesse Alcazar, the words are hard to find. I just want to say thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And just God bless you all. Thank you. When Jesse and Judy Alcazar learned on November 19th that their son Christopher was killed while fighting in Iraq, they couldn't imagine things getting worse. But, as Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn explains, there was heartbreak yet to come. Born. And unfortunately, several weeks after that funeral, uh, there was a fire in Jesse's home. Uh, that fire took that house, it burned it down. On December 27th, a candle burning near a picture of Christopher caught fire. The Alcazares survived the blaze unharmed, and Elmhurst firefighters were able to save Christopher's medals and the flag that was draped over his coffin. But everything else was lost. This obviously was a devastating and traumatic event for the family. It happened two days after Christmas, and a few days after that, we appealed to the people of Illinois, and indeed the people of our country, to help Jesse and his family recover. And the people yeah. responded. Letter after letter, bin after bin, came from the people of America. More than $400,000 poured into an account Quinn set up for donations. It's quite an inspiring story. And there's a passage in scripture that says that if you save one person, you save the whole world. And I think the people of our state, Illinois, the land of Lincoln, and the people of the United States of America can be very proud of what we've done. The money was enough to purchase and remodel this new home in Elmhurst, not far from where the Alcazar's old house used to stand. I got just like a little kid. I just opened my Christmas present and I got a nice home. And there was yet another gift in store for the Alcazar family. Jesse Alcazar, who was wounded seven times in Vietnam, had his veterans' benefits cut due to an error. Quinn restored those benefits. And as a housewarming gift, Quinn presented a service banner with one gold star in memory of Christopher and two blue stars, one each, for two Alcazar sons currently on active duty. Today is a new beginning, and it's a start, and we just take it one day at a time. For more information on the Alcazar family and other brave Illinois military families, please visit www.operationhomefront.org.